Hello everyone, welcome back to Expeditions Conquistador. If this is on an Asian website, I am Grimith. Hooray. Last time, we uh, we defeated Leandra Vizcaino and uh, saved Hispaniola. And uh, Governor Manzanedo, I think? It's, you know, been a week. Things have been forgotten. I also did manage to turn in the uh, the church quest. Uh, let's take a look at me. Well, us, us here. We have ourselves two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve expedition members. Isabella joined us uh, near the beginning of the game, of course, and Laszlo Pollock uh, joined us here right before we boarded the ship to leave. And uh, we're doing fine in regards to morale. The lowest number is from Carlos here, who is both uh, aggressive and cautious. You know, for reasons. He can't make up his own mind. He's just so frozen by his, uh, his intellectual pursuits. And I do have enough experience points to upgrade people, but I'm not sure who I'd end up upgrading. Because I have my three soldiers that I really like to use. Um, I have Pedro, a doctor to bring along for us on the ride. He's a veteran. And, uh, my two scouts will be great targets, since I enjoy using my two scouts. So I might end up upgrading one of them. I was thinking about maybe saving the point. Um, which I might do. But, uh, we'll see what happens, uh, we'll upgrade later. Besides, giving Anna an upgrade before we even leave Hispaniola. Think of all of the money she tried to steal from us. It's just absurd. With your money and the decree declaring the lifting of the embargo on your ship, you board La Marea... Marea Teresa. Teresa? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. La Marea Teresa. Hey, Reza. Grimith, stop. Let's just keep going. And it feels like you are home, if only for a moment. In a few days, you will be standing on the shore of the continent, ready to explore the new world proper where the mysteries of the Aztecs await. Let's cast off! Just got an achievement onwards to glory, and I just muted myself, only to see that, uh, I thought we were gonna go into a cutscene. Looks like, uh, we can swap out our followers here. We must select 10 expedition members to proceed, and I imagine these plot characters are folks who cannot be removed. They're both soldiers as well. So this would be an opportunity for me to switch out people. Uh, certainly if I uh, found them incompatible with my group, but I tell you what, I'll keep everyone that I've got along with me. You know, I have invested experience points into them. Uh, each and every single one. And... I just want to keep the original band together. We worked so hard on Hispaniola. I see no reason. Well, I could see reasons to switch, but I'm not going to. That seem? At long last, we could leave Hispaniola and make for the mainland. As we board the ship and look out over the sea, the dark and mysterious shore beckon to us. Though we dare not speak it, we felt our trials so far were just a taste of what was to come. As we neared the coast, a terrible storm rose up and battered our ship. Desperately, we attempt to reach the safety of the shore, but tragedy struck. Three of our friends were lost to the reef, and we were forced to return to the ship. When the winds finally faded and the hot sun reappeared, we rode to shore. We were wrecked and weary, but we had arrived. Right, we've gained the ability to craft a spike trap. 
We've started the search and rescue mission because it seems that we lost three of our friends. Hmm. That's not good. We're missing both scholars and Pollock. <laughs> now, uh, that, the volume for that cutscene was much lower than what I'm accustomed to with the whole music and everything. But I could hear it, and you folks will have better volume than I will. And if, since I muted myself, you could just turn, go back in time and turn the volume up. Let's go ahead and get a point of oil. And here we are on the Yucatan Peninsula. Which, uh, is... It's... Oh, I can scroll the arrow keys. It's bigger than Hispaniola, for sure. Alright. Let's go ahead and pop in here. From the site where you landed in your boats, you can see a village among the leafless trees of the swamp. Smoke rises lazily from a campfire, and as you come closer, you spot a group of villagers gathering at the periphery of the village to observe your arrival. They appear to be unarmed and overall harmless. Just enter the village. You lead your caravan carefully into the village. The tribe seems peaceful. They even bow as you approach. Who among you is the chieftain? I gotta revive that voice. Isabella relays your question to the gathered tribesmen. An elderly native woman with a large amount of ornaments piercing her skin steps forward. I am Teacapan? Ah, oh, sorry. The chief of this village. My name is... <laughs> Shooter! Shooter! I might have to do a bad person playthrough of this in the future. My name is Grimoth Reaper. Have you come searching for the ones who... Have you come searching for the ones who fell into this... Well, it would be relayed through Isabella anyway. Whatever. Yes, precisely. She nods and motions for two young women of her tribe to come rushing forward. She says something to them, and uh, they rush off to one of the larger huts. Shortly they reappear with Carlos Zaraga and Laszlo Pollock in tow. Hmm. Well, let's be friendly. My friends, it's good to see you alive and well. How have you been treated? Even with Pollock. Sure, let's be nice. Pollock salutes you with a smile when he's done hugging his friends. Uh, he made friends very fast, everyone. Worry not, Capitan Reaper. We've not been hard. And what a Pareto. Julio was struck with a cold after our little dip in the water last night. He'll be fine in a few days. Your servants are directed towards a hut in the back of the village, from which they return with Julio Pareto on a stretcher. The scholar does look a bit weak, but otherwise he appears uninjured. De Acapan watches your reunion with a warm smile. Will you feast with us, Grimith Reaver? It would be my pleasure. Uh, the old woman is joined by the other elders of the tribe, and you and your people are taken to the center of the village where a meal is prepared. When the food is served, the old man, the old woman sits next to you and strikes up a conversation. I mean, she, they, they tend to our wounded, and they give us a feast. How could I have shot her? Come on. You are not like the last Shining Ones that we met. Felipe Gutierrez's expedition came here. She looks uncertain. Tell me about the last Shining Ones you met. She frowns. Ten seasons ago, we saw their ships sail down the coast, and many suspected that they were gods. Several days later, they came here. There were too many to count. Many times the population of my tribe. They were very aggressive, and they took some of our people with them. We haven't seen our tribesmen since. Well, I assume they were needed as translators, but... Though it means little, I apologize for the way my people treated you. She smiles gratefully. You owe us no other apologies, Grimoth Reaper. What other tribes live in this land? Is that was that the voice I used? Where's Harvey Dent? <laughs> river, river. No. My tribe shares this swamp with a tribe of pearl fishers. Their home lies to the south down the coast. My people never leave the swamp. Beyond the western mountains, there are too many dangers. The pearl fishers trade with the peoples in the west, however. Perhaps they will be able to tell you more. Where did the other expedition go? They traveled to the northwest, away from the coast and into the heartlands. There was talk of establishing some form of outpost there. Finish your meal and retire. You and your people spend the night on the outskirts of the village. Your troops keep to themselves, 
and so do the villagers. The night passes without incident. Next morning, you find the old woman again while your servants are packing up the camp. We have plenty of food and medicine for your journey. Would you trade with us before you leave? Let us attempt to trade then. See what they got. They do not have a high supply of equipment, but they do have a high supply of both food and rations. Eh. I would actually uh, love to take the extra equipment there. And maybe, you know, I can equip my units correctly. There were uh, several folks who wanted to know why I was upgrading the melee attack of the Hunter. And as I corrected later in the session, I, I honestly don't know. <laughs> um, but it doesn't improve accuracy, only damage. Everyone, it's okay. It'll be okay. I'll just buy your equipment. Purchase items. There's nothing resembling a real market in the village, but you manage to track down a couple of villagers who know how to make nets for fishing, which you could easily use as traps for in combat. They also have to construct barricades for you out of materials you can buy from them. Your people will show them how. Let's go ahead and try to haggle. The villagers pretty much roll over as soon as you start negotiating. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> the price they're so low to begin with, you know you can't press them much. They quickly agree to lowering the price of nets by 100 valuables. They can't offer you more than 50 valuables off them barricades. Let's go and get some uh, materials. Cool. He looks overwhelmed. Let's go ahead and get two of each. Fantastic. So that we can get some extra traps. Might actually maybe want to buy some more. That's a thought. I do have a lot of valuables. And hopefully I can find the resources. Okay, so we have ourselves a complete expedition. We got quite a bit of experience points from that. Hooray! We didn't gain or lose morale. And this is the pearl fishers here. Actually, I would like to go there. And apparently I automatically know the way. Cool. Whoop, oh, take me there. I mean, I could do some uh, hardcore serious business exploration, but I figure, what the hell, I'll follow this. Oh, hello. Chart the swamp. Ooh, we got more of these charting missions, everyone. So excited. Alright. By the way, since I'm thinking about it while listening to this wonderful music, uh, I was gifted the soundtrack of this game uh, by an, an individual who, uh, I'm pretty sure he doesn't want me to, to say his full name, so we'll just call him Seabass. Thank you, Seabass. Yes, you can listen to the soundtrack and even purchase it on your own. I'll provide a link in the video description to uh, to the site where he gifted me mine. And uh, you can enjoy the wonderful music that was created for this game. So let's go ahead and camp for the first time. Uh, we'll have Pedro here, repair broken equipment, camp for the first time here on this one. I'll go ahead and take care of Julio myself. And, uh, rations, we're auto-assigning. Just to make sure everyone does their damn eating. And we've got, uh, lots of potential for guarding here. But patrolling and hunting is pretty difficult here, it seems. Okay, we salvaged two pieces of equipment. Alright, let's go ahead and continue our path. This wonderful feature of being able to click on the map to a location is pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. But, let's not be afraid to go off the beaten path here in our search of supplies and money. Let's not be afraid at all. We got a point of interest coming up, it seems. Oh, hello. Anna Vidal runs up to you from the rear of your column. See, aren't you glad that she's fully regained her honor? We won't we won't hold it against her that she uh, stole valuables from us anymore. Obviously, she was just youthful and misguided. Young, dumb, and full of... Um, vigor. Capitan, we are being followed by a group of savages. They're very sneaky, but they can't fool me. How many are of them? How is their force structured? There are eight or nine, mostly warriors, with a few archers and at least one shaman between them. Woo! And the Venus cannibals, it seems. Let's do some tactics. Hurry ahead. 
Hurry ahead of us with a few of the servants and find a good defensible position. We shall pretend as though we're unaware of our pursuers, and hopefully they will suspect nothing until we catch up to you. See, si, Capitan. Well, our aggressive followers have gained morale, and the peaceful followers for not trying to talk to them have lost morale. Vidal picks out a few servants, and they take what supplies they can carry and rush off ahead of the rest of your caravan. Your ruse seems to have worked as no attack immediately follows, and soon you catch up to your advance party, waiting for you and ready to face your stalkers. Let us begin battle. And, uh, resort equipment. Okay. Well, you need the good stuff right there. Isabella needs, uh, wonderful equipment too, as does Rita. Oh yeah, that's great. You can just sit there and think about what you did. Let's uh, fill out my two scouts. And uh, then we'll take care of Pedro here. Hmm. There we go. Sweet. I got tons of equipment. This is awesome. 30 pieces of equipment. That's great. Also, computer, it sounds like you're going to die over there. I'd appreciate it if you didn't do that. <laughs> Okay. So we have ourselves some exotic music. I shouldn't be stumbling into any traps, although they might have a preparation phase of their own. Looks like we've got like this narrow passage uh, through which they would have to funnel unless they walked around. Okay. Hmm. Not sure how trap heavy I want to be. Then again, there are eight of them. What am I looking at here in regards to levels? Veterans. Four veterans and four man at arms. Alright. I can also make spike traps. I should have uh, perhaps done some of that. I tell you what we'll do. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll place some barricades out. Like that. Be super sneaky with our sneakery. We'll throw down some caltrops here. And we'll line our people up. Maybe not too close together. I don't think they have an individual. See, she's a veteran trapper who can do that hailstorm of fire, which I did not much care for, I'm going to be honest with you. Let's go ahead and station... Ah. Can't do it as well as I'd like. That's fine, that's fine. That will serve my purposes. Okay. So, Rita. Let's go ahead and station you... Over here. Bernardo. Alright, move you there. Isabella... We shall move you here, the tree will be in the way. So you won't have the best angle of fire like, say, you would there. Hmm. I'll go ahead and move you there anyway. Pedro will protect himself by being next to all these people. Anna will move herself here. Daniela will move herself there. That's fine. I remember my hotkey to swap out weapons, that's good. And I can't get off good shots, so... Let's set everyone to interrupt. And... In turn. See what happens. Sweet. Good job, Isabella. Rita tries to take her shot. Pedro gives it a spin and fails. Bernardo might not be able to get his shot off. No? No, there we go. Oh, we still we still dealt some damage anyway. And of course, natives are super fast. They give no fucks. I actually thought he was even going to be able to move into that space, which would have made me go, what the hell? Anticipate opening, which I think guarantees that his next hit is a critical hit. Well, not the best position for me to isolate individuals, but it's a position. 
I could let them just keep walking into me. I also don't have any lanterns. I just thought about how wonderfully juicy they looked all so grouped up there together. I didn't make more of those. Damn it. Okay. Uh, hmm. One. Two. Three. One, two, three, four. Bye. Let's uh, see if I can get this work in here. And then she can move there. I just want to be able to swap out people who deal damage constantly. I don't need Pedro's ability to heal, uh, to revive people yet, because I didn't take any damage in that situation. We can station you there. You've got to move. And, uh, just go ahead and deal some raw damage. Good. I'll shift you... no. Alright, we can do this. Anna, move here. I do want to finish him. Oh, as much as I would like to be all super sneaky, I don't exactly want to expose anyone, particularly the scouts, yet. So let's go ahead and just focus on that. Alright. Now you step out of there. You have one movement left. Let's go ahead and move you forward. Finish the job. There we go. Beautiful. I mean, it could look better. It could look worse. And let's go ahead and take a shot at the shaman. Damn it, Pedro. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Switch your weapon back there, and we'll station you along here. Okay, we've taken out one. Not the best position, but we'll be fine, I think. Bernardo there took a whole 24 points of damage. Aw, oh, shit. Okay. So it's those veteran hunters who can do that. Now I know. No G.I. Joe reference. Don't you do it. Lady, you're, you're gonna have to get engaged in melee combat. Holy shit. My first battle here with the uh, the natives is beating my ass. Okay. Let's go ahead and bring Bernardo's health back. What you did is there and I see it, motherfucker. That's rude. You need stun hacks. Good. And uh, let's see what we can do here. We'll press Anna right up next to them. For Huggles. Damn your block. Let's finish the job there. Complete the mission. Good. Hello. And... Hello. Now, unfortunately, who was the guy who anticipated open? You did. Well, Anna, things may about to get very, very, very uncomfortable here. Four, three, two, one. Well, I could get to him. Four, and then I sneak. I'll just sneak. Go ahead and hit him. Need to soften him up. He's going to be able to get that uh, 
that powerful hit off, but, uh, it's a thing. There we go. Now that I'm grouped up together with her, uh, if she is able to recharge that ability again, she'll have to take uh, damage. The hunters, the trappers, just, uh, that's trappers, not hunters. Right, they're called trappers. He's about to bring the poison hacks. No! You actually gotta fix up the warrior I damaged. Well, not warrior. Whatever. Alright. Another cure. Or restore, rather. Oof. Wow, their trappers do quite a bit of damage with their uh, melee attacks. Well, seems obvious. Let's go ahead and get Anna some help. What's a cure? Now I'm flanking you. Let's go ahead and see if I can take advantage of I probably should have attacked her first straight up with the flank. Oh, we didn't finish it? Come on! Damn it, game. Well, let's finish her off then. We'll slide up. And, uh... Given the vulnerability of the situation, well, things don't look as great as they could. I'm not able to focus fire so much here with the line. Bernarder's gonna have to hold it. And I could consume his attack action to give people extra defense, but instead I think I will... Again, we want to focus as much as we can in this situation. So I think I should just uh, focus on the warrior, even though Bernardo can attack other people. Stupid block. You and your dumb shield. I, I might want to sneak Daniela out of here. I might want to sneak Anna out of here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I could be flanked. Just want to secure people better. It'll be fine. They have a lot of movement. Nope. Curse. Curse. The hell? Now he's poisoned. He might be going down. He is going down. Ah, oh, well. It was gonna happen, right? Well, I don't get an attack turn with him now, but... We'll have to make do. One, two, three, four. Actually, since Anna is there, yes, she can help to actually finish this guy off. Oh, no. Not needed. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, stun this asshole again. Maybe. One, two, three. I can't get a flank off. Let's go ahead and stun you. Had enough of your sass. And, uh, since I wouldn't be able to finish him off anyway, unless I got lucky. Well? Huh. Yeah, I figured that I would get, they would get blocks off, and I would be very distraught. Go ahead and sneak forward this way. You don't get to go anywhere, Curse McGee. But at least that ended the poison effect along with the curse effect. You don't get to do anything. No fun for you. None. We'll actually stand here because I want to make sure that Shaman gets finished off next turn. And Pedro? Yeah, sure. Get in on it, Pedro. Maybe they'll target you instead of Bernardo. Ooh, tactical move. She was like, mm, that sounds like a terrible idea, actually. Down goes Bernardo again. Well, your hearts were in the right places. I'll, I'll give you credit for that. Alright, Pedro. Go ahead and get some restore in there. I'm not going to be able to get my flanks so easily. 
Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I... Yes! Yes! Whoop! While he's stunned. I mean, I do have freedom of movement anyway, but I probably shouldn't have stunned him either. One, two, three, four. Whatever. Things happened. What matters is that he went down, and I'm standing on Bernardo's body now. It's a thing. I could... now... Well, I don't really have to relocate, because I can just move you there. There we go. That was fun. So we'll actually just keep standing where we are here. Got poisoned. Got stabbed. Oh, wait. Okay. Finish you off. Not funny. Nah, let's get to work. This is for everything! And let's go ahead and cure you, because you're standing next to me. You'll have to help pick up Bernardo later. It's a shame he went down, but you know, we were outnumbered 8 to 6. We didn't have any fun lanterns. It's a great warm-up fight for me. Besides, it was only harmless lacerations. Although he did lose a piece of equipment. That's the last of them, Capitan. Excuse me. How shall we deal with the survivors? Uh... They were gonna eat me. Kill them and see kill them and see if they have anything we can use, then bury them. Our open minded followers have lost morale. Oh well. Teresa Sanchez turns to the rest of her troops and moves her finger across her throat. A few muffled screams is all you hear as the survivors are killed. When everything is taken care of, the servants scavenge the bodies, finding bits of useful equipment, a few valuable trinkets that dispose of the bodies in shallow graves. I'm just not doing the best job of balancing my morale. <laughs> Well, making it super high. I think I'm doing great work with balancing the morale. We're fine. We're fine. Think Anna had a piece of equipment broken? Yeah. Well, on that note, I think we'll go ahead and end the video here. I think this was a productive uh, beginning to a session. Indeed, a very productive one. Join me next time, where I undoubtedly piss off more of my followers. I'll see you then.